Mac Kids and One here today with a video on how to hide a user account. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to create a user called Hidden User with the short name Hidden that has a hidden home directory and doesn't show up in the login window or the accounts preferences or anything. Let me show you how to do this in under 10 minutes. First of all, you want to open up System Preferences. Second of all, you want to click on Accounts. Now, you might or might not have to click the lock to make changes and type your password. You already have to be an administrator to do this, by the way. So you have to enable root or be an admin to begin with anyway. Next, you can click Plus. Now, under New Account, we're going to say Administrator. Under Name, we're going to call them Hidden User. Under short name, we're just going to type hidden. Under password, I'm going to make it password and verify. It's going to be password. And the password hint is this user does not exist. So that way they get the password hint. It says it's not there and then just stop. So now I'll click create account. So right here it is hidden user. Nice icon. I'm going to keep that. So now you quit system preferences. And as you can see, it shows up in the left here. So I'll quit his system preferences. Next, you want to go into terminal. If you don't know where terminal is, you just go into the finder menu and say go to utilities, then open up terminal.app, and there's terminal for you. And your terminal opens up, it won't look exactly like this, but it will have this little prompt here. So all you need to do now is type sudo space dash s and type your password. If you don't know your password, that's too bad, and you have to be an administrator to do this. Next, you want to type the following command. DSCL space dot. All these commands will be in the description of the video as typed here. Then you hit enter. Now you type cd space slash users with the capital U slash hidden, which is the short name we assigned to that user called hidden. Now you hit enter. Now you type read. Okay, so now that we've typed read, there should be something near the bottom called unique ID 503 or 502 or 510. It depends um, how many users you've had on your computer. Mine happens to be 503. So since it starts with the 5, it's above 500. We want to bring it to below 500, but we want to still make it in an orderly fashion. So being logical, we're going to change it to 403. So what we want to type is change space dot space unique ID space and then the current unique ID 503 to our new unique ID and I'm gonna make it the same thing except with 4 in front of it instead of 5 so it's 403 so that way it's under 500 then you hit enter so now its unique ID is under 500 which means it's quote unquote a hidden user so now we're going to do one more thing. We're going to type quit, hit enter. Now we're going to type the following command that will make it um, very fun. Type default space write space slash library slash preferences slash com dot apple dot login window space hide. 500 users space dash pool space true in all caps. Then you want to hit enter. So now if we open our system preferences and click accounts, the user doesn't show up there. We just created it a few minutes ago, but it's not there anymore. It still exists on your computer. You just don't see it here. And that's the cool thing about it. So now, say there's no other button in your login window, which means there's no way to log in as it. All you need to do is type defaults write com dot or a slash library slash preferences slash com dot apple dot login window space show other users 
underscore managed space dash bool space false then you hit enter and now that that disables the other button if you change false to true the other button will be there so now if I go to my login window and I click other I can log in with the username hidden h-i-d-d-e-n because that's when we made the short name with the password password because that's what I set the password so now here I am in my terminal again I can just type p-a-s-s-w-d space hidden and enter a new password for it and I'm just gonna make it my normal password that I use for everything okay so now hidden has has a nice little password that I like so the hidden user still exists and it's on your computer and if you type su hidden and type the password I just set for mine it will log you in and uh, you can go to its desktop but the thing is there's still some trace of that user being there because if you open a new finder window and you go to Macintosh HD users there's a folder there called hidden wouldn't you like it if this folder was hidden like a hidden folder so that way it wouldn't show up here unless you had say finder enabled here's how you go into terminal and now um, I'm just gonna log in this will show up here for you you type CD space slash users now you want to type sudo space dash s and type your password now you want to type set file capital S and capital F space dash a space quote capital V close quote space hidden slash then hit enter and so now if you open a new finder window go to Macintosh HD users there's no hidden folder here it's still there but you can't see it anywhere. And that's what I think is so cool about this little hidden user thing. So I have this user, it's in your face because it, it doesn't show up anywhere, but wherever you ask to authenticate, if you type this username and password, it will work. Now, to get rid of the user, um, you can just set its password to some random thing, or you can type the same command we typed that was hide 500 users except for bool true it changed the true to false that's all you need to do so I'm just gonna close that terminal window so if anything I showed you in this video was unclear or you didn't understand it I can write up a PDF version that will be clearer and easier to understand and maybe that'll help you out a little bit so thank you for watching Mac Kids in a one Please subscribe to our videos and goodbye.